Hello friends, welcome to Java AWT tutorial. In this uh, video, we are going to see how to create a submenu. In the previous two videos, we saw how to create menu. Then in the next video, we saw uh, how to create a checkbox menu item. Now we will see how to create submenus. So in this video, we are going to make use of code which was created in frame window. So that's the prerequisite video. Then the second prerequisite is video number 29, how to create menu bar, menu and menu items. In this video, we are going to change the existing menu which was created in video 29 and we will uh, make that menu as a sub menu so we previously created the menu draw and help here in this uh, placeholder that means uh, this is the menu bar so in the menu bar previously we created two menus one is draw and another one is help so in this video we will create a new menu called action then in the action menu we will add previously created draw and help menu so that will produce the uh, pop-up menu effect and if you see here this draw menu was previously in the menu bar and similarly this help menu was also previously in the menu bar now we will add those two menu items to this existing uh, uh, action menu so action menu that means the this menu will become parent menu for the sub menu you are seeing the sub menu here for draw so the action menu will hold to sub menu draw and help so the classes are same um, we have menu bar then we will have three menus so the class is same menu and we have three menu one is uh, action then uh, draw and then help so what happens all our instance of menu only so all our java.awt.menu so this is also menu only so what we will do we will take this draw we will add it to action similarly we will take help and we will add it to action finally we will add the action to menu bar so this whole thing will produce the effect of the screenshot what you are seeing here all right now let us go to the example so this is the example which we created in video number 29 so that just has two menus let me run it once so that you can see it so it has draw menu then help menu so what we are going to do we are going to introduce a new menu called action here then we will take this help and draw menu this is the content of draw and this is the content of help and we will add that to the action menu so that's the code change we are going to make here let's see a quick workthrough So here we have a display label. So this is for a display label, which was already explained in a video. If you see here, first we have a menu bar. Then we created a true 
two menu help and the draw then we added that to the menu bar that's why you saw these two menu items in the menu bar arranged horizontally then create menu items so we have five menu items for draw menu and two menu items for help menu then we after creating these menu items we are adding it to the draw as well as the help so in snippet 5 we just created the menu items in 7 we are just setting the action command and after that we are adding action listener for all these 7 menu items so in the action handler we are setting the label uh, with the action command that means it will tell which menu item is clicked all right now let's go to the present video in this video So in code snippet 4, we are creating menus, right? So this is where we want to create one more menu called action. So let's put our insertion code here. So if you see here, we are creating one more menu action so help and draw will become sub menu of this action and if you see here okay this is a snippet 10 we will introduce a snippet 11 here So at present we are adding uh, um, help and draw to the menu bar. Now we will add now if I run you can see that draw help action all appears here in the menu bar. So now what I am going to do uh, I will remove these two so we are adding it to menu bar right so I'm removing it then we will add these two menu So instead of adding it to the menu bar, now we are adding it to the action menu. So what happens now menu draw becomes sub menu of action menu and action menu parent is uh, uh, the menu bar. The same way we will take the help menu and we will add it to the menu action. So before that, we will add a separator. So if we need, we can add, but um, here I'm just directly adding menu action dot to add. So, and if you see, that's all we are done with it. So this, the content of action is uh, two sub menus. That means it the label it is getting from the sub menu so here is the menu help draw that becomes that looks like a menu item but that's actually a sub menu because of this arrow so if i click here or if i just hover my mouse here you will see the sub menu pops up and if i move it to help then help menu will display so no other code change required okay? if i click it it will still produce the action event if you see we doesn't change menu item we just rearrange the menu that's all
that's all here only just two code snippet first we created a, an action menu then we removed these two menu from menu bar and we added those to our action menu then we added the action menu to the menu bar so that's all the modification and which changed this help and draw to become a sub menu of action menu and parent for the action menu is the menu bar that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye